I watched a lot of TV last night. I watched that new show, um, Life on Mars. It's that, that show, a, a cop, he gets hit by a car uh, in 2008 and apparently ends up in 1973 uh, at the 125th Precinct, New York City, a lot of corruption, funny hair and mutton chop sideburns and mustache and everything. Old school cops? Old school. Yeah, yeah, old school cops just beating the crap out of perps for nice. no reason. Nice. Do, they, do they know him now when he's when he turns up? Do they know he who was, he is? He was, uh, they see him as somebody who was transferred over from another precinct. Okay. So and he's li- just like, what the hell am I doing here? You know, he, he doesn't know how he got there, why, but he does remember his previous 2008 life. He knows everything that happens. He knows, you know, uh, and he's he's kind of this straight shooter, politically correct kind of cop, and he's watching all these thug cops <laughs> in 1973 corrupt New York City. Uh, I really want to like the show a lot because I, I think the idea of it is good. It's a show that came from England too, another show that, from England. That we probably took and, and claimed. Yeah, and, and oh, yeah, of course yeah. did. And, and uh, Harvey Keitel is in it. I, I think Harvey Te- Keitel is really good. I like what him a lot. What channel is It's on uh, ABC. Oh, it's a real Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the only complaint I have, and it's it, it's only been on for two weeks, and I've noticed this already. We get it. He's in 1973. You don't have to make every reference from the 70s to – remind us where you know is it awkwardly done it's too? done it's so ham-handedly done like uh what a spoon fed like uh, spoon here fed. we go we're gonna remind you that it's the seven there there's a, a clip where you know there's a, por- a part of the show harvey Keitel's in a hospital room with this girl that had gotten injured and and he's she's unconscious and he's kind of reading the paper and he has to say something like oh they're sending more people up to sky lab you, you know, because it's, like, it's, like, it's the would, 70s. Why would that? And, and, and just like, you know, hey, that's about as useful as a pet rock. Oh, God. You know, it's like you don't have to. I wish they would stop that. We know where he is. You don't have to inject in a 70s reference every five minutes. Is there a part of the show like where you're not 100 percent sure if he, he obviously had an injury of some sort? If the 2008 part is real or this you don't is real? know, you have no clue. Like he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He wrote. He like in yesterday's episode, last night's. He drew wrote a whole bunch of words like uh, uh, insane. He just goes alien abduction. Like he's trying to figure out how this happened and uh, why he's either be- really back in seventy three thinks he is. If he's in a coma, mm-hmm. if he's you know things like that. So he's not sure. That's why I love the idea of this. I like any kind of time. You know, thing. There's another one, uh, Back to the Future. I love that. <laughs> but it's like some any kind of time thing like that I find pretty uh, pretty cool. One thing I really like about the show is uh, they show um, the, these uh, these cops because they're detectives and they drive in, in regular cars. And they're all these muscle cars. And whenever they have to chase somebody or, or go to a location, they get a call. They put the little cherry on the top of the car. Old school. And drive like maniacs. And the music takes on this 70s TV show kind of action um, uh, Starsky and Hutch almost thing, mm-hmm. which is I found kind of funny. The streets of they, San Francisco. Yeah, that something. they did that. I thought that was pretty clever. Um, but yeah, stop at the references every two seconds. We understand they, where he is. They should have a scroll. I want to remind you that this <laughs> it's 1973, and he uh, came from 2008. Right. The the first episode was really cool because he he comes out. Uh, he he initially gets hit by a car, and that's he wakes up and and he's kind of in 1973. <laughs> And he looks around and looks – he's looking around like all confused. And he looks and he goes, oh, my God. And they pan up and the t- uh, Twin Towers are there. And he's just like, oh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I thought that was like a really like wow kind of a That's kind of like a Charlton Heston uh, moment. Yeah, yeah, it was. Statue of Liberty. It was like, like whoa. whoa, whoa. But I, I want to like the show, but – Wouldn't it suck if the show ended in the final conclusion – Oh, no, go ahead, Jimmy. Uh, and, and, the, and the final conclusion was – like, no, 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 what happens, sometimes you will get hit by a car and actually wind up at a different time. <laughs> That's all that happened. He really did That's get hit. That's the only excuse there is. Yeah, he really did get hit, and uh, he just wound up there. It, it was real, and that's what happened. <laughs> I always wonder that type of thing when you see these crazy people. Maybe they're not crazy. Maybe they're really happened. How do really we know happened? for real? Maybe there was someone that was living in the future yeah. and had to come back to this time. Who it, knows? It, uh, another thing I like about the show is when they're um, – they bust people and they put them up against the wall and frisk them and then just clock them in the head for no reason. <laughs> just pow. And all the other detectives just kind of go, hey, 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 look at him. They don't care. 
Let's, right? let's say hi to Jason in Indiana. Jason. Yeah, I had a comment about life on Mars. Okay. Uh, I love it when they say, man, how great was Woodstock four years ago? You know, to kind of- yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> like how ham-handed it is. It's been four years already? <laughs> And, and like last night's episode, <laughs> last night's episode. That's, that's funny. There, there's they 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 pinch some guy. Uh, supposedly, he's been robbing this uh, check cashing place. They put him in jail. And uh, Harvey Keitel is just old school, dirty kind of cop. Um, his, his I, I think he wants to kind of clean up the city, but he doesn't care how he does it. So he's ready to plant some some stuff on this guy just to put him sure. away. So 2008 cop. Is like no, let's you know cut him loose. We'll watch him, get evidence on him, and and bust him. You know, the way it's supposed to be done. And uh, so they let the guy loose. And as he's walking out, he goes, "Yeah, the Constitution at work. Thank God for Richard Nixon." Oh, and it's God. like it's like all right, uh, all right. Thank you. I, I forgot we were in seventy three. I forgot. Just can, spoon feeding a bunch yes, of dummies. That's I, what it is. Kind of. Could you smarten it up a little bit? You don't have to remind can, me. Can Can I ask you this? You think there's a possibility that they're doing it kind of tongue in cheek, like no, you, no, like wink, wink. We know what no, we're doing here. It's too many times during the episode. Yeah. Don't. It's, it's just. It's done too many times. Let's say hi to Tony in New York. Tony, life on Mars. I, you well. know what? I want to like this show like you mentioned, Anthony, but at the same time, I find myself like bored with the show. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it, I, I don't know what it is. Channel anytime. I, I stick with it. I'll stick with it a, a few more episodes. I think Michael Imperioli, uh, they got to use him a little more. He looks hysterical in it. Yeah. I mean, he's got this big uh, mustache um, that wraps around down to his chin, huge sideburns, long, greasy hair. And uh, he's got like a pot belly on him now and stuff. It just he, his character. I think it could be really a good character. But uh, Michael Imperioli, uh, they haven't really used him that much. But it's only been two episodes, so I'm just hoping they kind of. There have been shows that you watch and at first you're like, yeah, it's kind of good, and then it ends up being a, gr- a great show, or a, kind of a really good show, whatever. Well, a lot of I'm times- hoping that happens with this one, but um, yeah, it's it's it, it, two episodes in. They got to knock that off, and yeah, fu- kind of. Find a weird, different little angle on it. I think a lot of these shows find their way, though. You yeah, give it maybe two or three episodes. Next thing you know, it's a it's a much different show uh, than uh, than the pilot was. Yeah, they may be looking at it too, like again, <clears throat> overkill. But you know, maybe maybe the way shows are is within the first three episodes, people might tune in the second one and miss the first one. Yeah, uh, that's what it's I was still thinking. Annoying, that's what it, yeah. it it just is, and and it's distracting to me now whenever it happens because I just go, all oh, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, the Yankees are world champion thanks to Billy Martin. We, we know. <laughs> yeah, right. okay, He's alive. Whatever. He gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> got it. He's got always it. got a hat with a seven and a three on him. All right. <clears throat> hey, uh, Anthony was talking about a show called Life on Mars. Yes. Wow. For the for the newbies uh, listening in, it's basically a show where a cop uh, a cop it, so. uh, gets into a little uh, accident there. He gets hit by a car and he goes from 2008 to 1973. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's still a cop because uh, the cops, I guess, assume that he's uh, from another precinct, right. transferred in. Right. And, um, you know, he's got to deal with trying to figure out where he is and why, why he's back in 1973. Mm-hmm. He's got to get back to his uh, chick back in 2008 because I believe she was ready to be murdered, if not already murdered at the time that that happened. Lisa Bonet. Yes, Lisa Bonet. Uh, and um, he's the- got to work with these... Cops from 1973 New York City, which was, you know, pretty dirty and gruff and... Uh, Use the word gritty. You know, gritty, 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 good, good, gritty. Good, good. Uh, and um, uh, that's, that's what the show is, is pretty much based on. Uh, the thing that bugs me about it, I really want to like the show because I like any kind of time travel mm-hmm. type shows, movies, whatever. Uh, I find them intriguing. I think there's a lot of material there you could do. But they have to throw in these fucking references to the early 70s in a way no one would. No one walked around then and talked like this and referenced the time you're in constantly. Right. They do that because they assume, and, and I, I bet correctly, that the, the, the viewers of regular network television, because it's on ABC, are idiots, complete morons. So they just keep spoon-feeding them the fact that, remember now, remember people, <laughs> he's from 2008... But he's back in 73. So we'll keep throwing these 73 references at you to to remind remind you. you. I don't need to be reminded. I I know what the show's about. I get the plot. 
just fucking do the show. Keep it. I think a show like this would be great on HBO. I mean, the characters, Michael Imperioli, mm-hmm. is uh, uh, really good at, at his character. He's greasy haired, got one of those good 70s stash and sideburns going. You know what's so funny? He's describing himself right now. Yes. <laughs> uh, I got the 70s stash and the greasy uh, hair. I do need a haircut. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's tough to it's tough to shower before you come in. He I looks mean, like Michael on, Imperioli Colin. in the seventies. Yeah, yeah, all right. Anthony looks like every seventies cop and every seventies junkie. Oh, what a what a treat that would be! Just to bust some be head, good on that show. shake oh, downs. I, I feel the same. Maybe I could do that. Yeah. Wouldn't be great. I took the police test. I got a ninety six. They never called me. Oh, it wasn't kidding, good. Really? I had the Port Authority police. Test. It wasn't good you enough. Could've... I apparently not. It uh, Maybe you know, you know point. who got a lower grade was... and got in? Mm-hmm. Who? I bet. Big A. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. The, the blacks. Imagine if Big A was a no. cop. Big N. <laughs> <laughs> you know how the Big world N. works. You know Big how the N. world works, Colin. No, I think it was also something that happened in between, too, where it was like... Oh, drug group. bust. In those days, they changed... Yeah, I think they, they, there was some... Paperwork. Oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so, uh, so we, yeah. got this, we, we got the 70s uh, references from Life on oh. Mars. Now, you tell me if this is fucking overkill. They've done two episodes. I, I, That's it. Two episodes. And there are how many references? We got about nine or ten. Nine fucking references in two episodes. Well, let's hear them first. Maybe yeah. one reference per episode that isn't a ham-handed, hey, look at my mood ring kind <laughs> of a, a fucking thing, you know? Let's just get... I, I still... Uh, I'm holding out that it's uh, done in tongue-in-cheek. It isn't. It isn't. If it was, I might be able to appreciate right. that a little more, but it's right, here's not. A, here's the first one. This, this is not my car. So you ain't Sam Tyler? I, I am. I, it, it, this is not my car. I, I was driving a... A Jeep. You were driving a military vehicle? Mm. I need my cell. You need to sell what? No. I just... Well, that first one, I saw that episode. That yeah. was it when he first arrived. Right, yeah. right. And that's, that's a, a blatant ripoff of Back to the Future, where uh, Marty McFly goes into the diner, and they say he's wearing a life preserver because he's wearing a down coat, and he uh, says he wants a Pepsi free, and uh, the guy goes, no, you got to pay for it. He goes, <laughs> all right, well, then give me a tab. He goes, you can't have a tab. you got to buy some. See, it, that's kind of that same play on, on word thing. Only that one was actually clever. Right. It was all connected. <laughs> but the 70s reference wasn't like... That no, no, that, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. Well, well, we're, we're, we're kind of gliding well, no, into it here. Don't let him off the hook because no. he's jumping to the mic to try to defend uh, why he... Yes, sir. Sam brought, up, Sam brought up a great point that nobody would say, I need my Jeep. They would say, like, I need my car. I need my like, car. Where's my car? I know you might say, say where's I don't... my cell? Yeah, I would say that. Strange, yeah. You wouldn't just say it to a stranger. Like, and no one would say a military vehicle in 1973 if you said Jeep. Here's the phony part is that the responses were too... Obvious, like his him saying who's I on second, Jeep. yeah, who's on was, first? You need a military vehicle, like he would just say, "What do you mean a Jeep?" A Jeep. Yeah. The most unrealistic part of the whole thing was when he said Sam brought up a good point, and we all listened with <laughs> <Yeah>. bated breath. <laughs> or you know, and my cell, uh, I need my cell. Gotta sell what? Oh, we get sell? it. Sell? You're gonna you sell what? A cell phone? No. Is, we know. Cell phone. Why don't you sell your phone? Don't, don't you have money for heroin, which is big these days? <laughs> That's a matter of dollars. <laughs> yes. <A> dollars, Texas. <laughs> what do you need money for? The Godfather Two, which is coming out next year. <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> Cuntface fucks. <laughs> I uh. All right. Uh, not that pre- was not that bad. Yeah. I'll, I'll even agree. That wasn't right. that bad. I'm sitting I, there. I saw but that I was going right like, when he landed. Eh, but yeah, it, was yeah. it was a little pushy. Let's go with the next one. This is my office. Oh, wait, right there. Bullshit. <laughs> right here. <laughs> this is my desk. Hey, would you rather live in 2008? Hold on. I want to see these people arguing. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Look no. at that shirt. Actually, wait. watching this, it wants wait. me to go back to like 1940. <laughs> it's like, Colin, it's uh, Maury Povich, obviously. What, 1840. What, what, what Long Island town do you think I swear from? to God, Maury, they're probably from the Danch. I would think. <laughs> the dance. <laughs> I swear the to God, The dance, Maury. motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, the dance. Uh, yeah. Bentwood. I'm saying either, it could be Bent- Brentwood or it could mm-hmm. be, uh, you know, Newcastle, oh. someplace like Wheatley that. Wheatley Heights. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like a nice place? <laughs> Oof. Watch Wheatley it. Hunt. I'm going to go with Look the wine Maury. dance. All right. The let's, dance. Let's get back to this. All right. All right, go ahead. This is my desk. Here. So where's my desk? Huh? Where's my desk? Chair. 
My computer. Your computer? Like how? 2001, a space odyssey? That's Looks like we problem. got us a regular space. Uh, say, say. I thought that was nicely, See. subtly laced in there. <laughs> subtly <laughs> laced in. It was just like Norton's joke about Godfather 2. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. Yeah. The, the, it's the same thing. The problem is the shitty writing in the responses. It's yes. terrible. Oh, come yes. on. Yes. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Can I just yes. say one thing? Yes. The, the acting is we just listen. We just listened to it, the dialogue, and then... This genius goes, the problem is the shitty writing and the responses. Right, that's no, what no. we hear mocking. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, the shitty writing in the responses. It's the oh, sound okay. quality. Uh, hold, hold on, somebody needs to needs to put the, take the cotton out of their ears and put it in their mouth. Oh. oh because, I was saying the responses, not necessarily. He's not selling Come on. It. Don't let him off the hook on this one, I beg of you. I'm uh, right. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The shitty writing in the responses is terrible. It's the obviousness yeah, of the yeah. responses, it, which are not so is. 70s. It's just, you need a Jeep? <laughs> it, it's yeah, terrible. it's it, 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 it's pushing, and, and they're so noticeable yeah. and so distracting to watching the show. But they're, I was expecting it to be things that only reference the 70s. That's just fucking terrible writing. Mm -hmm. Well, they'll, they'll keep right. going. Yeah, we're All getting, right, we're getting there. Going. We're getting like there. Like how? Like how, which came out a few years? In yeah. 2001, no. a space odyssey? Who the fuck talks like that? No just one. Just like the Godfather joke, though. That's exactly what they do. It really is. Oh. God. Oh. Annie, get your talk to the grieving parents, get on. We found a missing twirl. A, t a twirl? A girl. Brought a chick, a dame, a lass. Oh, of course. Well, that wasn't... That well, bad. I, what wow. clip? Why don't you get the opening music? All right. What the fuck did you guys get? We're, Who the hell said twirl? We're almost four. Yeah, a twirl. That, that's We're almost why four in clips because... in and, and still not really proven Ant's point. No, no, it's it, no, it's worry, annoying. It's coming, because he, I know he it had gets to annoying. explain other 70s references to ladies. Chick, a dame? That's a like 40s. A Nothing right. beats a dame, a dame, a dame. Let's go one clip. <laughs> All right, well, Don't worry. so we'll far do. the machinist is 0 for 3. You're looking more and more like Christian Bell, is what he's I'm saying. I'm not there. gaining or losing. So I'm Batman! Uh, uh, that's a good job, Christian. Lamb lifted a few prints off a shoe, they've been sent downtown. You should hear back in a couple of weeks or so if there's a match. A couple of weeks? Yeah, it's amazing what they can do these days. See, it, uh, that I don't buy. That's a ham-handed fucking bullshit way of doing that. It's amazing what they could do these days. A couple, couple of weeks? Yeah. It's a, what, no. Yeah, old days, it took a couple of years? This is just a... Re these are reminders that, that when you hear a line like that, you go, Oh, right, they're in 73. It's the, annoying. The way that would have been okay is if he, if he was like a couple of weeks, and the other guy was like, yeah. Yeah. And, or just didn't, it didn't... They acknowledge... Every little right. thing that he is a little confused about. It's amazing about. what they do here in 1973, yeah. That's as the, opposed to 2008, let's well, say. They immediately pick up on every fucking thing yes. that they're supposed to pick Thank up on. Thank you, Jim. That's exactly what I meant. Even stuff that isn't uh, the Jeep. A, G a military vehicle? Military vehicle? Mm. Why, that's impossible. Yeah, what yeah, is a yeah. string of Peloponnese? Mm. <laughs> Mr. Fabersham. <laughs> Fucking. Well, I, think, I think you guys are missing the big point. I'd what? Like to, I'd like to read you something. Go oh, ahead. Okay. Uh, the economy is in a crisis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. War is destroying us. And there is <laughs> discord among the races. Mm -hmm. That was written in 1871 <laughs> in Austria. <laughs> wow. Isn't that amazing? Oh, 1871 <laughs> in Austria. Changes, right? Well, thank God someone came along and fixed that. Well, <laughs> the more things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> Go to the clip. That's what I like to say. All right, here's the next clip. Dow's down 200, but rallying back. Yeah. Now we're we're rallying. Rallying. Fuck the Dow's down 200. 200. Let me tell you guys something. Wow. That was said. said. In Roman times, they had a stock market. How you doing, my friend? Part of my subconscious do you hail from? Poughkeepsie. What's your poison? Just give me a Diet Coke. Diet Coke? Uh, scotch. Make it a double, will you? Diet Coke. Now that would be something, huh? <laughs> See? What, what, what? Diet Coke? Yeah, give me a scotch. All right. Oh. Diet Coke. Now that would be something. You you must be from the future. This show fucking sucks. <laughs> Why'd you sit through this? Because I told you I, I want agree. to I like the first episode. The, the, I want to like it. I want to like the premise. I like the idea of somebody being knocked back in time thirty five years 
and having to like deal with shit so like that. I but agree. Here's but how not that stupid. You're just stupid waiting for the next fucking... Back to the Future movie. Yes. Let's That's do some all. scene yeah. study. You mm-hmm. say. Uh, all right, I, I'll say. What do you want? You do Diet Coke. Right. Uh, what do you want? Uh, Diet Coke. Come on. What do you want? Diet That's Coke. That's how that happened. <laughs> a Coke that is not as many calories? They've not invented that. Have That'll they? be the day. You know who needs to be on the show? Diet Coke, Louis Beange. Yeah. He died of AIDS. Yeah. The Diet Chocolate? <laughs> 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 Don't make us play the spot so well, people get it. Jesus. God damn, C- is that awful. CW from Scranton. I, I, like, the seven, uh, like the 70s car sideburns closed. Don't remind you... Like the, that exactly the outfits. Yeah, yeah. The, the I'm whole. With you, Ann. They've well, done a great TV job. About the outfits. They've done a good job with the cars. Although the cars are a little too well kept. Like as I'm watching, I'm these are muscle cars driving, just driving down the road, and they're, they're like out of the fucking uh, what's that museum out in L.A. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Cause, it's like cause they, they came they, right out of a museum. Because well, they got them from collectors, and the they, LA they promised the collectors, look, where you won't fuck up your vintage right. car. Yeah, they're just beautiful cars rolling down the point, street, though, no they rusted can't be, out. Yeah, but they can't be messing up the guy's yeah. car. Can yeah. they make fucking fake ones? Yeah, just fucking it's it's La La Land. How do you Please. make a fake one? No, it's it's too, it's, it's, it's too very expensive. <laughs> And so they these, just there's these slow moving scenes where he's looking around yeah. and it's just showing you everything that's in the 70s. Everyone has an afro. Everyone's yeah. wearing belts. We'd like you to show yeah, us everything Bell that's Bottas in the 40s. Giving peace signs outside of Warsaw. <laughs> oh, 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 poor skinny oh, oh, poor slender boy. Oh, we'd like you to show us barracks four. Oh, no. Oh well. All right. Which so box? Was, which box car do you take home? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Uncalled Uncle Uncle for. It really oh. is. Can't wait. You want to do another one here or what? <laughs> of yeah, course. I, I want to hear these. them all. That really annoyed me. Yeah. Well, wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be What's something? What's the fucking bartender <laughs> would say that to an asshole, <laughs> what asshole who ordered a drink that doesn't exist? Yeah. Hey, give me a fucking pack of goose milk. <laughs> wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be the what day? What do you want, asshole? What do you want? Got some the goose milk. The only realistic thing was that Kipsy really is a shithole. And even yes, then it was. Stephen Jersey has some advice for you. Steve? Hey, uh, and I would say watch the BBC version. Just stop watching the American right now. Of course. It sucks. But I don't know anything about fucking uh, like uh, the, the 70s, 70s in Britain. England. What? Exactly. What the fuck am I going to sit there and watch the mods fight with the fucking uh, rockers? Rockers? On, Thank you. you know a little something. No, that's all I know. You're on scooters. I bet the English version's good, man. I bet they only play who music. You ever seen the Office in England? I don't know English offices. That show is fucking hilarious. Hilarious. So maybe genius. Come on, give it a try. It sounds like genius. What's that? The American one's better. Corral's fucking crazy. (laughs) (laughs) The fucking forty. But he's right about. <laughs> He's right about life on Mars. I bet the English version is good. We should yeah, but I don't know the references. Well, let's so have a watch watch try. Maybe that maybe you, that's good because then it wouldn't annoy me. You see what right. happens when you do know the references? You want to bite the TV. <laughs> You're right. Jesus, get we try. get it. Coke, die, a diet coke. Da, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> no, it wouldn't be. What do you want it in a can? Yeah, <laughs> or in your can. Oh, that's oh, no sm- oh, oh, I love oh, this oh, new oh. Holly song, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's what it would be. <laughs> Let's do another one here. And that's no small thing, considering they were tucked snug behind bulletproof glass with no witnesses, no sign of forced entry. Yeah, that's uh, that's very cool. Hey, listen, any chance I'm going to get sprung anytime soon? No laughing is on tonight. And <laughs> I got it bad for that Goldie Hawn. Look, oh, see? Yeah. All right, see? Well, I'm getting right, grunts now. from the fucking audience. See? That, now that, that anytime I'm getting sprung suit, that laughing's great. But I really a, got in for that Goldie Hawn. Uh, well, and even the way he says it, it's not even a New York accent when he goes. No, like, yeah, Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn. This and show, fucking bad for that Jessica Hawn. Sucks. <laughs> sucks my fucking unshaven pubic region, <laughs> dick. I didn't think you would need to shave. You're very hairless. I am, but I do shave my fucking bigger than you think it would be cock. There is, is <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just what, what what I'm giving you here is the shit part of this show. There, there's other parts where I really go like, God, there's potential here for something. Maybe oh, when Kaitel throw talks. that fucking in, dude. The acting is when awful. When Kaitel is sitting there and he pulls out this wad of money <laughs> that the guy, this guy didn't even steal. He's just saying, well, he, this was found on you. And the guy goes, no, it's not. Mm. He goes, it would be wet l- like me because, you know, they pulled him out of the river. So Kaitel just pours a pitcher of water on the money, pours the rest of it over the guy's head, 
and then takes the fucking money and starts smacking him in the face with the money. That's pretty that good. That shit's great old New York old police fucking roust the motherfucker kind of shit. That I like. I don't like this fucking, I really got it in for that goldie oh, hand. Thanks, baby. The sentence should have stopped after, am I getting sprung? Right, soon. that's it. Am I getting sprung soon? He wouldn't be talking about what TV show he wants to catch. Who the hell would say yeah. sprung? No one. Well, that's you. What that. is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, my God. What Colin. is that, Colin? Oh, Colin came from outer space what and brought that? some type of mysterious beverage. What are you drinking? Is that gasoline? <laughs> <laughs> Colin, uh, for your listeners at, at home, he, he's drinking something called Diet Coke. <laughs> Did you bring that from home? After, what is this, Arch and Crafts? That'll be the day. <laughs> wonder what Mayor LaGuardia would think of this one. <laughs> right? <laughs> fucking assholes in Hollywood. Fucking just die uh, on fire. Just put the fucking billboard. Put, put a fucking thing on the side where it usually has the network thing. It's 1973 on this show. <laughs> Just that would let us know. You don't have to uh, ham hand the fucking references. Yeah, fucking. What do we got? Oh, Another one out of Peter in Massachusetts. Hey Peter. there, Pete. Welcome aboard, Pete. Yeah, what well, wrong with the cop shows we got? <laughs> they, they watch mm. pretty good. NYPD Blue. What's some of those other shows? Hill Street Blue. CSI, CSI. Miami. CSI New York. Barney Miller. Special <laughs> victim. <laughs> Barney Miller. Barney Miller. Miller. <laughs> Can I tell you a very funny line that Colin would do, and you don't do it anymore, which annoys me, is when you talk about your fucking, how you're going to be with a big mystery solver and your own cop show, and you're going to be on CSI Akron. It's <laughs> 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 He would comment, but he's oh, eating. He's shoving food into his stupid face. Mm, too right, much violence for me. Let's get That'd another. Be good. You could, uh, your first, your first show could be uh, missing persons, and she ends up in my driveway. <laughs> Linger longer. Linger much too long. I don't. I got it. I want to do. Of course, Danny got it. I don't get that one. Yes, you do. Do I? Apparently. Oh. Spell it out with the uh, O. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes, oh dear. Oh, how about that Dr. Smith in Lost in Space? I can't believe that show's been off the air for nine years. First of all, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Laughing was off by 73. Uh, 68 or 67, right? Yeah, Until, what, 72? Now. He got it bad for that Goldie Har. Goldie Harnan. Yeah, do you? Like a guy wants to get out of jail to watch TV. Yeah, to watch uh, uh, Laughing. Fucking bullshit. Put it on cable. A wire? Why can't I put it on a wire that connects things? <laughs> <laughs> fucking overreacting assholes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I gotta Let's... go. Uh, gotta go get it online. You just stand in line. What? Who the fuck reacts like that? Information superhighway. Is that off the Gowanus? <laughs> <laughs> just uh, FYI, laughing ran until seventy three. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, it was last chance. May 14th, 73. Well, at least oh. you know it's January, February, March, or April. Right. It better be. Let's, oh. let's do another one here. I took a look at the file, Gene. The FCC has a better case against George Carlin as seven dirty words than you have against Kim Dennis. This show <laughs> fucking stinks! I can't be happier that Jimmy is so annoyed at just oh, the clips. That was bad. These it older explaining faggots. Yes. How about yes. this? The FCC has a better chance against a better uh, case against Carlin. That's yeah. how you would talk. Uh, you know the seven, seven dirty, dirty words. words. Yeah. Like, no cop right. would say the FCC. Has Maybe a not. Chance but of, no. I'm, I'm just trying to. You know. This is horrific. It's the the worst part of any show I've ever watched. That's it's fucking. Bad. Stinks. Bad. You take a show that people I think find I find a, a pretty compelling plot. And then just fuck it up. They suck. They fucking suck. They oh, got it. You think oh. if this was on HBO or something that they would be doing nope. shit like that? No, no, Omar would be busy fucking some guy in the mouth and then yes. shoot him. Yes. <laughs> and much more blind stick my gun in a mouth. What's up, bird? I think HBO what up, was... Bird? What up, yeah, bird? what up, bird? A bird? Yeah, what, what are you up? talking about? A little flying animal? He left the S off. <laughs> we got another HBO, one. HBO, I think, is this... doing a 70s cop show of David Milchers, I believe. Yeah? Yeah. Good for them. Based on a guy I know, Steve Kalura. It's actually a fascinating story. What's the story, know. Carl? Nice plug. How the about filling is... everybody else in instead of hogging all yeah. the fun for How you? How is it a plug? I'm, I'm nothing to do with it. Shut up. Oh. Still a plug. 
He said, nice plug. Well, hey, saying, he's more beat up than Evil Knievel at that Caesar's Palace jump. <laughs> That happened just <laughs> real short time ago because it's 73. Look at this fucking book by George Orwell. Wait till that happens in 11 years. <laughs> 1984. That's so far in the future yeah. for us here in 73. Holy cow. Oh, God. Oh, I uh, fucking hate them all. Uh, How about a little subtle one? All right, here's yeah. a subtle one. This one's a great one. A little subtle? You can yeah. Right, we got, subtlety. We got a subtle one right okay. here. It just feels like it took a spot. But I wouldn't take it personal. Yeah, well, I didn't request his transfer. It just happened. It's like Guantanamo Bay in here. Well, I wouldn't know. I've never been to Puerto Rico. Kim Trent, here is a DAT. You are free to go. You got to respect those who defend the Constitution. <laughs> All hail the Nixon administration. <laughs> Guantanamo it looks like why he goes into the cells that are really messy the guy from 2008 and he's like Jesus Christ like Guantanamo Bay in here I wouldn't know I never been to the Caribbean huh? like that it, wouldn't even get an answer from anyone it's like Guantanamo Bay in here no oh. and yeah. here's how fucking horrible the writing is if we walked in and, and, and said it's such unnatural Fucking typical, awful L.A. writer shit. Uh, if I walked in and go, Jesus Christ, fucking hottest balls really in Africa? Would any of you actually go, we don't know, Jim, we've never been to Africa. Uh, I've never been to Botswana. You would get that somebody's just making a reference to a shithole. Uh, yeah, crappy place. And the bit officially begins. Let's say hi to but Danny in Louisiana. Just, just, Danny. Joke. Hey, what's up? Guys? What's up? Yeah, it is. Horrible. Yeah, uh, that's uh, McMillan and wife. I bet Rock Hudson gets all the dames, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh. Hey, look at that. We're watching McMillan and wife. Yeah, because yeah, back hey. here in 73, we didn't know that. Yeah, I wish fabulous. I got as many broads as Rock Hudson. <laughs> yeah, well, he's got AIDS. Of course he has helpers. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, I wish my dad was more like Mr. Brady growing up. <laughs> uh, fucking in the ass? What? <laughs> All right, we got one more here. What's that? Oh, um, Lee got us tickets to see Greece. <laughs> you know, it's been playing for a year, and I've been dying to see it, so. It's been playing for a year, and I'm dying to see it a year. Because it opened in 72, 72, and it being, you know, 73. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I don't mind that one, to be honest with you, because nope. it is kind of funny like it's still running today. But let me tell you something. It's not funny. It's stinks. Let me tell you something. I mind no. that one most There was of all. no other reference to it. It was thrown in. It was at the end of the episode. So, like, haphazardly. And that was it. And, and that was it. the next scene. Yeah. It wasn't a part of the plot First of all, line. I don't like the fact that the woman, once again, she's a female cop, and she's talking like some you know actress from nowadays in the Midwest. Every female cop sounded just like Patty. And yeah. That's how they should all sound. Well, well there, the, here's another thing. The female cop is treated by the guys like, like shit. No respect. I know. They give her the menial little tasks, but she is so smart. Of course she is. And she should be, you know, she's smarter than the guys. Can you please? Because they gotta kind of make that politically correct. Can you please just get my get my hint of doing the line as Patty. Oh, hey, I got gotcha. you. About going to see the play. God, they all am I horrible? You're right. Yeah, I didn't get that either. You're right. Going to see Greece. I like the version <laughs> with John Travolta in the movie that won't be out for five more years or so. Fifteen. Fifteen. Seventy-three to Patty. <laughs> Seventy. Seventy-three to seventy-nine. I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, I am a, such a fucking dumb five-year-old oh, boy. You were talking I was about born like in '68. You were talking about like 1988 or something. That's because you got your nose very crazy. Manual. <laughs> you know, yeah, you're listening to a bunch of talking heads like the band. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I don't know what I'm fucking doing. <laughs> well, with that, why don't we take a break? Let's just do heavy-handed references to now. Yeah. Like they were doing then, and see how casually they fit into the conversation. Well, let's make believe uh, we didn't say that, and after the break, we go into that mode. Yes. I'm fucking going to eat a the pretzel. The and everybody else. You having a pretzel? Current President Bush almost choked on one. Yeah, well, I remember that one. <laughs> can you do But that is, there's nothing wrong with that. That is just as of course stupid. Well, can I just make one last suggestion? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Can you please do Patty in Goodfellas? 
Doing like one of Henry Hill's voiceovers. Like to us, the airport was in our backyard. Oh, know. I would have uh, more gone with. <laughs> hey, touched me, and then he tried to throw me out of the car. <laughs> That does sound you like don't it. understand, yeah, it like Louis Daddy. <laughs> Louis Bracco does sound like Patty. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, without the too emotional close. range, it's she's <laughs> fucking horrendous. She fucking wrecks everything she's in. I like to squeeze her tits and then just push her into an acting class. <laughs> they want cheap clothes, a lot of pants suits, and too much makeup, and they get bit skin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> good fellas. We got life on Mars. Oh, yeah. You know, something? episode three, my friend. Hold I, on. We got three choices. Oh, All right. Well, what, what were we going to say? And I'm sorry. I'm just saying I I'm now growing to hate to it. hate that show. Good. It's about time. And That's it's only been it's only been a couple episodes, a few episodes. We have what to it do is. it. And now it? I hate it. I don't even it's, remember. It's, it's this show. Moron? It came from England. Yeah. Shows originally from England. And, of course, you know, they Americanize it and, and fuck it all up. Uh, and it's this guy who was in 19, uh, or 2008. Yeah. And he's a cop. Right. He gets into an accident. A car hits him. And he's just kind of ends up, poof, he's in 1973 as a cop. Ooh. And they, they, in his station house, they think he was transferred. And he's got to figure out how to get back. He's got to solve this murder of his girlfriend who was murdered right before, or, or uh, uh, supposedly murdered right before he had this accident and got sent back to 73. It sort of sounded like a compelling little thing, and I kind of like the idea of uh, looking at a gritty, nasty 1973 yeah, New York. back when it was fun. Yeah, yeah, and the cops are all just beating the shit out of the perps and everything. They don't care. There's no... But it's so... They try so hard to remind you that, hey, it's 1973 with these references that just, it, it's not necessary. I get the premise. Stop with the fucking references. A lot of the mustaches. writing is horrible. A lot yeah, of yeah, a lot of, a lot of mustaches. Yeah, yeah. Well, they got Michael Imperioli from the uh, <coughs> oh, Sopranos is that show? in it. And he's yeah. got the big mustache yeah, yeah, and the yeah, sideburns yeah. and the long uh, hair. They and have high hopes for this show. I was. Is it doing well in the ratings? When I first saw it. I was like, wow, this is a good concept and everything. Uh, the first episode was mm, all right, but I figured it would get better. It's only gotten worse. It's turned into what amounts now to a bad cop show. It's just a bad cop show now with references thrown in to remind you that it's 1973. Yeah, Mark, that's the key. The, these references come out of nowhere. They, 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 They're ham-handed, they yes. yeah. like spoon-fed Hey, look, remember people out there in TV land, because you're t much too stupid. Don't forget. It's 1973. Like, That's an actual like, line from the show. It, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got a slang and shit, like, uh, you know, like to the Max and yeah. Foxy and uh, Not, yeah, Honky. They, and they've and, thrown those in, and that isn't even the shit that gets me. We, we it's got, more ham-handed than uh, that. We got examples. Let's uh, get right into this. Here's the first yeah. one from uh, Life on Mars. Is this la last night's episode? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Travis said these are really bad. Well, I just Because we uh, barely got the bit uh, going last time. Yeah. yeah. Let's be honest. We almost failed miserably. One. No, last time I think uh, yeah, there was good. some great examples. The first Definitely. few clips, the first um, couple of clips, we were, were losing people PFB. left and right, and then we brought it back in the well, end. Let me set the first clip up. Right. Because, uh, this morning, Ant was talking about how now another thing that they're doing, which I definitely noticed, mm -hmm. is he's telling people about the future now. Yeah. Like how things are going to be. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing that so is annoying me. He's got to be like, well, let me tell you, okay. in, 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 where I'm from, right. yeah. uh, we, we don't use paper. That's the first one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, this sorry. is going to be good. Well, the future may be uncertain, but one thing's for sure. Things will happen a lot faster there. You know, someday even paper will be obsolete. Hmm. I think that's sad. Oh. oh. The acting's horrible. That's the writing bad. is terrible. That's really bad. And, and the, the fact that he's like, paper's obsolete. No, wait, look at how much paper's laying around so, here. So he even knows that he's back in... in oh, he absolutely okay. knows. So He's what, got complete recollection of... Oh, right, 2008. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love how everybody reacts. The reactions, the writings for the reactions are, is so fucking yeah. terrible. Awful. Because it's built on getting the point across instead of being realistic. It's fucking the horrid. The point getting across, it's being screamed in your face. Uh, quick call. I haven't taken one in a couple what? hours. Matt in Boston. Matt. Guys, you made the show better for me and my wife. I want to thank you. Oh, thanks. Because <laughs> now it's a funny show. Because now they're just I waiting for these references. <laughs> My wife was watching and she's like, what the hell is this? This is stupid. And I said, no, no, wait. I paused it and I go, here's the thing. 
Listen for when they're saying, but it's 1973. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cool. And then she tried to watch it. She was rolled. She was fine. <laughs> it, it is. It's a ridiculous comedy now. It's like we're, a drinking we're game. We're helping the show. Yeah. We, yeah. we didn't mean to, but we're helping it. Yep. Here's another one. Apparently you stayed up calling people. I was researching. Ooh, researching what? Cop stuff. I have the teeniest crush on Steve McGarrett. <laughs> Do you know him? Yeah, I know who he is. Uh... A Y five O. Book him, Dano. Do you ever say that? Book him, Dano. I would, if I worked with a guy named Dano. You should hire one. How cool would that be? Is she retarded? <laughs> she's supposed to be a she's hippie. A, she's chick. a writer for the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's supposed to be this hippie chick. Yeah. And um, she lives in the same apartment that uh, apartment building that. But the idea that. All right, remember, remember our shows. Let's get some shows in there, some references. How about Hawaii Five O? That was a big show. How could we subtly throw in and maybe, maybe him walking past a TV and it maybe being on the TV or even the sound of it in the background and you hear it? No, she's got to out of nowhere bring up Hawaii Five O. So the show is so bad. What they're doing is, is that they want to make sure if and when they get new viewers that the viewers understand the premise. Yeah, of the premise the show. of the program. Not you, you. You wouldn't miss it that you know there's hippie chicks and all the cars are from the '70s and New York looks a little different. Like they kind of you know did a good job as far as that goes. The the dress that and been everything. It. That That's it. That. I understand where we are. Okay, enough. But every fucking episode just pumping it into you. I'll it's tell like you what's going on. I'll tell you what's annoying is the fact that this is, they don't speak, the writing is so horrible. Like, the way you, it would be with a chick is she like, oh, I, get, I get so turned on by cops, I'm in love with McGarrett. Everyone at that time knew who the fuck McGarrett was. Yeah. No one. Like, for instance, uh, w would you say, uh, like, if, if you were fucking a chick now, like, let's just say I was fucking a girl, and she's like, oh, you're kind of sarcastic, I like that, it reminds me of Simon Cowell. Do you know who he is? Yes, from American Idol. Who the fuck would have yeah. that conversation? I don't like him. But that's people. People <laughs> our age would know the reference. But you know, some some people in their twenties they don't. Uh, that's exactly it. So they're over explaining. Yeah, they're over explaining and ruining the fucking moment for in everybody every else. Every episode. Nick in South Jersey. Nick. Yes. Hi, Nick. Uh, I was just saying that the acting is like, and this is like a porno, like Julianne Moore and Boogie Nights. Just like. Now that's a large cock. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's horrible. The that's acting is horrible. worse than porn acting. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, the acting wow. is no, is. I, I've is never bad. seen it. It's really though. bad. Like even Keitel, Harvey Keitel's in the fucking thing, and he comes off as a bad actor we, and just like we got a Harvey Keitel doing the '70s thing. Oh, All right, good. cuff him, <clears throat> Dano. <laughs> yeah, he's in the military. Unbelievable. What next? They're gonna want to get married. <laughs> oh, wow. get, get it because they they in do the 70s, now. That wasn't even a possibility. Oh, no, My gays God. in the military. What? Well, what? What next? <laughs> oh, that's so fucking uh, horrendous. Right. Do you, do you guys watch Mad Men? Do you like that show? Everyone talks about Mad huh? Men. I've like seen it. Never what? Like it. No, I Fuck haven't seen that one. It keeps telling us what's wrong with you guys. Watch Mad Men. They it's say a great it's one of the best show. shows. Watch a Mad Men every time Roland walks in the fucking room. <laughs> <laughs> Lunatic. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Roland. Fucking Mad Men. That's, uh... Oh, no, I was thinking of something else. It's one of the Sopranos oh, right. guys w wrote it. No, nah, but it's, it's supposedly it was on... I wasn't sure. Was it Midnight on Fridays on HBO? Oh, no, no, that's that was... Down and Dirty, starring Jim Norton. <gasps> oh, 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 shit. Yeah. How could you confuse that, Jim? I got confused. Oh, no, that's The nice whole theme though. tonight is 1973, too. Yes. With Patrice, because he says it's the last time he could see his toes. <laughs> <laughs> was when he was 10 I'm pleased with myself we gotta help Jimmy out everyone's gotta take a peek tonight let's get those numbers up so HBO does the right thing and get uh and get more Do episodes. they actually care about numbers over there? Not really, no. It does mean something, but they Cable. care more about critics, yeah. which See, scares me. Here's one more. It's like you got some gay bashing around here. Gay bashing? What's that, throwing a party for a queer? <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking of taking the old lady to see Soylent Green. What do you think? It's supposed to be good. Say, take a see what? Soylent Green. It just came out. The movie with Heston. Then why didn't he? That came out in '73. <laughs> why didn't? He, then why didn't the other guy say it's made out of people? He did actually. Oh. He, he ruined the movie yeah, for like him by going, "Yeah, the, later. what do you call that? Spoiler? It's made out of people. Spoiler. A spoiler. Yeah. But I mean, but yeah, it, I'm it thinking I'm taking the old lady to Soylent Green. Get it? 
73. But see, I wouldn't because that, that's such an obscure movie. I've never heard people. Soylent Green before. Just, it was a big movie. You would just never say, heard it you would just, just go, now. how about really? just saying, to God. yeah, I'm going to go to the movies with the old lady tonight. Yeah. That's the second so, week in a row that they've done that. The the chick went to go see Grease. She goes, Gr I, I'm going to see Grease. It's been out a year already. you got to see Soylent Green. You Murphy. know, it came you know, out in 72. Yeah. Never heard of it. Never saw you it. Never it's saw a great movie. Green. Never even heard of it. It's people. Soylent Green is people. Damn you. Ooh. Damn apes. Uh, it is Edward G. <laughs> Robinson's last movie. I never. Yeah. yeah right. I'll Meh. check it out. Is it good? Meh. I don't even See? know. It is good. All right. Damn. Uh, They're people crackers. Uh, whatever. Okay, listen. We got yeah. another. I can't wait till next week because I'm sure there'll be plenty more references. So uh, laugh along. I don't want to watch this anymore. It, it was fun I, it, the first it, two weeks. It's horrible. Well, you have to Terrible. watch it. But, but I can't. It's your bitch, right? I have so. it DVR'd, and I'll, I'll watch it just to see those references now and, re and get angry. And they don't even advance the plot. There was nothing no, that had nothing to do. No, nothing happened. That's why now it's just a bad cop show. Yeah. They have a crime at the beginning. And they solve the crime by the end of the fucking show. Mm -hmm. That's and all. And, and we're throw in 73 references. In. We're three weeks in. you got to figure he's been there a couple days. And he's completely content with just being He's fine himself. now. He just walks around. Oh, like, ah, yeah, I'm walking around. You guys, are, you guys are looking at this all wrong, though. I mean, if, I? They, if they get a second season, you can look forward to all the 1974 references. <laughs> That's oh, what they're going to have to advance like <laughs> right. that. Yeah. Wait till they get to the disco era. <laughs> That's right. Ah, oh, that'll be, that'll rock. <laughs> Everybody starts wearing the platform shoes. <laughs> uh, Keith from Jersey. Hey, first I have to say, Jimmy, I can't wait till the audio book version of I Hate Your Guts comes out. Thank this you. Is Keith, this is Keith, your Mac consultant from Jersey. So if you want to call me back, you can do that. Oh, hey, man, uh, thanks. Right. Hey, listen, Anthony, you yeah. nailed it last week when you said that, uh, oh, what's next, making a game reference at Rock Hudson? And yeah. That last night. They did it last night. We made a joke. Remember uh, when we were uh, goofing about that stupid show, uh, yep. Life on Mars? And last week we made a goof about Rock Hudson being gay. <laughs> they used it this week. I don't know how Travis missed that one. They're talking about uh, people being gay. And he goes, you don't know, you know, who's gay and who's not gay. And Cartel's like, you know, yeah, yeah, right. He goes, hey, Rock Hudson. He goes, how about Rock Hudson? He goes, Rock, get out of here. Dude, we joked that there'd be a Rock Hudson Do you think reference. they lifted it? And they did. Do you think they lifted it? Yes, I'm positive they listened to the show and they lifted it. Uh, they had it. They it's already possible. had the, the show in the can. Next week, I want a pet rock reference. Yeah. All right. Let me... I was cracking up so loud about that. Thanks, Keith. We'll, yeah, so we'll point at a rock and go, right. yeah, what are you going to do one day? Make these pets? <laughs> It'll be that obvious and unfunny. Put them in a box. Yeah. Sell it. Let's have to walk by the Twin Towers. What, are they going to fall down someday? They, they made, they made a, uh, he made a reference to that uh, was, last night, uh, too. Because no, he, he was talking about, like, because he's all upset, man, at the prejudice that's going on because the cops are talking about gays in a bad way. And he goes, you know, that same type of prejudice is going to change the landscape of this city someday. And I mean literally. Ugh. Look out, man. I fucking... Dude, yeah, I was sitting there going, what is it, prejudice or what? Like, because... What? There's nothing worse. Prejudice of of who? Mm. Than bad writing. Yeah. It's horrid. Nothing worse than shitty TV writing. Horrid! 